Humans are naturally drawn to rivers. We are a riparian species. We live along rivers and depend on them to sustain our lives, our livelihoods, and our well-being. It is no surprise that the Fertile Crescent, the cradle of human civilization, encompasses two great rivers, the Tigris and the Euphrates. Or consider that today, 63% of all of humanity's 7.8 billion people live within 20 kilometers of a large river. Or that 93% of the world's megacities, defined as those with 10 million or more people, are built along great rivers. Rivers Run Through Us, a natural and human history of great rivers of North America, explores the relationships between 10 great rivers and the development of our societies since humans first crossed into our continent over 15,000 years ago. Rivers Run Through Us begins with an introduction to what rivers are and some of the philosophy of what drives the intimate connection between humans and rivers. Next, Rivers Run Through Us introduces the family of North American rivers and how they formed through massive ruptures in the Earth's surface, mountain building, and the great glaciations. The first of 10 great rivers explored is the Mackenzie River, encompassing 20% of the land area of Canada with a delta consisting of more than 30,000 ponds and lakes. The river valley was the focus of a massive energy corridor proposal in the 1970s, and the inquiry into this proposal set the gold standard for consultative processes and was central to the ongoing evolution of indigenous land rights in Canada. Next is the Yukon River, site of the last of the world's great gold rushes and the collective lunacy that the riches of its Klondike River inspired. The Fraser River, the soul of British Columbia, is a sculptor of biodiversity within its basin, especially the myriad populations of its five species of majestic Pacific salmon. The Columbia River, builder of an empire whose muscle was harnessed in the form of great hydroelectric dams that helped to address an unemployment crisis in 1930s America and whose power was critical to the Allies' efforts in the Second World War. Next are the great conjoined Sacramento-San Joaquin rivers, whose waters transformed a desert into one of the world's agricultural behemoths, but at great cost to biodiversity within their basins. The story of the Colorado River follows, a river sacrificed to the ambitions of humanity to build great cities in desert environments. A once idyllic delta now rarely sees any flow of water that originates more than 2,000 kilometers away, high in the southern Rocky Mountains. Steeped deeply in the history of relations between the United States and Mexico is the Rio Grande Rio Bravo. Today, it forms two-thirds of the international border between the two countries and is a source of ongoing immigration tensions, including scores of drowning deaths every year resulting from attempted crossings of the river. The Mississippi River, Old Man River, the Father of Waters, the Big Muddy, a massive river system draining 41% of the United States. Control of the Mississippi, once referred to as the body of the nation, was the major strategic objective of America's great civil war and the scene of one of its most decisive campaigns, the Siege of Vicksburg. The Hudson River is the shortest of those examined in rivers run through us, but what an impact it has had. It was crucial to the development of the world's greatest financial center and its sublime scenery inspired the first great North American school of art, the Hudson River School of Landscape Art. Finally, there is the St. Lawrence River, the Fleuve Saint Laurent. For thousands of years, it has been the gateway to a continent. The outlet for 20% of the world's fresh water, its seaway transportation system moves the sea a thousand miles inland. Rivers Run Through Us ends with a discussion of the environmental state of our great rivers and their future, the various threats that they face, from pollution, overuse, and climate change, as well as how we might alter the way we interact with them to rediscover what hydrologist Luna Leopold called a reverence for rivers. To ensure their and our persistence into the future, these great rivers, through which the history of North America has flowed, deserve no less. Rivers Run Through Us, a natural and human history of great rivers of North America, will be published in October 2021 
by Rocky Mountain Books.